Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to another little base building video with me, your host. Now in the last video, a lot of you got very upset, well some of you got upset, that I did the, the poor old one by one so much harm. I never once talked about how, how you could optimize it. And I want to talk about ways you can do that now because there's been a few suggested to me and a few I've experimented with myself and they're pretty interesting options. Now, I just want to point out the reason that I didn't really do a lot of optimization in the first place is because to really make these one by ones work with the U-shaped stairs and what have you, you, you kind of need to have a lot of things ready to go when you build it. Like you need to have, uh, you need to have these two, this box here ready. You need to have the furnace down. Um, what else do you need? You pretty much want to have the time to place things like the boxes up here and down here. So this little one by one with the U-shaped U-shaped stairs and the double doors is quite a popular option for people looking to, I don't know, make a YouTube video about building in Rust. Um, it's very compact. I'm not sure who invented it first, but if you look on YouTube, you'll see quite a lot of videos like this. So yes, these U-shaped bases are efficient and ideally a U-shaped base uh, will give you maybe 144 slots in that original configuration. That's at 1800 stone cost, 300 wood, uh, and a total of a brilliant 12 to 1 ratio. So if you're if you're feeling like a sort of a, a, a this kind of base, yeah, you can you can have a great one. So another option is to throw a little extra triangle here for your airlock in front of your uh, wonderful U-shaped stair construction. If you change it to this sort of construction, but with the um, the big double door entrance and the original set of boxes. You can take out the um, sleeping bag here and fit in, I think, at least one more box. Two might be pushing it if you want to access these boxes in the furnace. That gives you a really nice total cost of about... I've been pushed into the corner and I can't get out. <laughs> it's the joy of compact bases. Time to use the magic no clip powers. But yes, yeah, so you're looking at a, a, a total of about 2,535 stone and I think about 156 slots, which gives you a 16 to 1 storage ratio to stone, which is pretty which is pretty good, really, or stone to storage ratio. Not too bad at all. I still think that building the U-shapes in the real world without any backup, like on your own, is a bit fiddly. Maybe if you got the airlock up first, you'd be able to do it a bit easier with just, you know, like this with a door frame on. But, I don't know, it's fiddly. You're going to have to put down little boxes here to jump on to pull it off, I suspect, so you can place these boxes. The next base I want to talk about is the simple 1x1 one one with a roof by Pretzel05. It's a bit of an old video I saw, but I, I did really like it, so I thought I'd show it off. I'll post a link in the description to, to the video, so you can go see how he built it. But basically, it is very simply a 1x1, one one, covered at the back, and a furnace here. And then you could simply put down... Um, a nice little box until you're ready to put down these these wonderful shelves and then once the shelves are in you can fit a large box and a small box here you can put a small box and your sleeping bag on top and believe it or not you can spawn quite happily in here and you can then drop down onto your little fireplace there and get out the door this base has a total cost of 2010 stone and with 114 odd slots for storage it's possible you could get another box in but it becomes very jammy to get in and out. You have to use the door to push you in and out. But with 114 slots, which I think is pretty good, you end up with a 17 to one sort of stone to storage ratio, which is quite nice. And I don't know, quite quite a unique design. I quite like it. I'll be talking about a similar design in a, in a different video at some point. Another one by one design is one I threw together myself and it's a little bit similar to the last one, except with no roof. Basically, and you have to jump to get in due to the furnace here. Basically, I shove a tool cupboard just to the right of the door there or left, put a furnace in here, put down a box to do all your work. And once you're ready with some metal, chop the box up, put down shelves, and then fit in your two large storage and your two small storage. Your bag fits here. It is a bit vulnerable, but I'll talk about that in a sec. So the total cost for my little shelf based one by one is uh, 1560 stone and 260 wood so it's even cheaper than the, the u-shaped stair you do have of course 50 metal for these salvage when you're ready it comes with what is it uh, 84 slots and that gives you an 18 to 1 ratio which isn't too bad at all i reckon 
There's quite a lot of storage in there. Now, the problem is, of course, that with this bag sticking out, someone can just come along and be a real troll, and just for the fun of it, chop your bag up. Now, if you're living in a one by one with no earlock, you probably already exist in a, in a world of risk and carefree revelry, and maybe that doesn't bother you. But one of the things you can do is you could build the front of your base, like this one here, uh, in a bush. And I've got a, a sleeping bag in there, but as you can see, pretty hard to spot. I don't know, maybe pick up a camo skin for your sleeping bag as well. So that could be your very uh, simple emergency uh, one by one. Pretty cheap, quite a lot of storage. The final one by one I want to show you was suggested to me by Igor the Man. And it's a really, really interesting design. I'm gonna throw, I'll throw a link in the, in the description again for you to go check it out. It's a one by one with an airlock. Watch this. Open the first door. Open the second door. There's the TZ and your boxes. Y yay! I mean, I, I just love that. You can't fit a sleeping bag in it. So it's kind of a bit of a cheeky one. But um, the fact that it's got an airlock, I just find bananas. He's got a great video on how to build it. I will note that when he built it, he put down the tool cupboard um, basically first. I tried that and I couldn't get these boxes in. Whereas if I put the boxes in first and then put down the tool cupboard, I had better luck. I'd suggest trying it on a build server till you're comfortable with it. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's really cute. It comes in with 60 slots of storage, which isn't amazing, but pretty cool for two, for two doors. And it has a 2,200 stone cost. And with that sort of cost and storage, looking at 36 to one stone to uh, storage ratio. It's not the most efficient build storage wise, but I, ju I just really like how, uh, how clever that is. Since we're on the topic of micro bases, I thought I would show you something I was introduced to by gaming with Invers. Again, link will be in the description. This base is absolutely amazing. It is two triangles, one wall, one door, and it can fit 84 slots of storage. Look at that, and a furnace. And I think if I was really cunning, I could have actually got a second box on here. Second large box, didn't work for me, but I know this one works pretty well. And I think that will probably do for most people looking for a tiny starter base. Can't fit a sleeping bag in here, but at this price, I don't think anyone could ever complain. The total stone cost for this thing is 810 stone. You could have a base after like two minutes of staring at a node, pretty much. Wood cost, 740. And with 84 slots, you're looking at a stone to storage ratio of nine to one, which is just, it's just absolutely nuts to me. And from there, of course, without the, the twigs, you could probably do quite a, quite a few things with sort of expanding the space and turning it into some kind of, I don't know, monstrosity from which to dominate all your neighbors. Yeah, that could maybe maybe not uh anyway this is uh, pretty fun and uh, gaming with invis has quite a lot of discussion of this on a video he did showing how to build it and some upgrade options that he went through so uh, if you do want to try this out do test it on a build server first i had to make a couple of little adjustments make sure the, the height of the foundations was high enough for one and that way i could get the tool covered in at the back there but uh, do test it on a build server check out gaming with invis's video i thought this was extremely clever and Absolutely the most efficient starter base without a sleeping bag that I have ever seen. That's just, um, just brilliant. And I think you could probably just take out a couple of things here and chuck in a bag too if you're feeling really crazy. Might get, might get picked off, I suppose. But yeah, that's just beautiful. Well done, Gaming with Invis. That's very clever indeed. Anyway, that has been my look at the much maligned, mostly by me, uh, one by one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Whoa! And walk into that one. Thanks to those of you who commented on the Starter Shack showdown, especially Igor the Man for his airlock design one by one, and also Gaming with Invis for his really, really clever little uh, water cave base. I thought that was excellent. I've been Tiny Pirate. This has been a little Rust base building video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Good night.